Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on differentiation using quotient rule. We have a quotient of fraction over here. So quotient rule says you're going to take a derivative of the top first. I think of this one as walking in the rain. I'm trying to draw raindrops here, not a good uh, picture here. But if you were walking in the rain, your hair gets wet first, right? So think of this one as take derivative of the top first, and that's your head. So take derivative of the first one, which is itself, and okay? leave the second one alone. This is the shoes. Okay? And then minus, see the order matters for this one, and, that, and that's what most students get frustrated with. So water matters, thinking walking in the rain, your hair gets wet first. So take derivative of the top first. Okay. Minus, leave the first one alone, take derivative of the, derivative of the second one. Blah, the tongue is tied here. Uh, 18x. And then all you have to do on the bottom is leave it alone and square it. So not too hard, but it's important to keep in mind of what are you doing and keep track of it. Okay, I'm going to simplify one more step and then we're there. Minus 18x over here, and then this is 81x to the fourth. Uh, maybe one more step. We can pull the x out and cancel it out. So make it look as pretty as, pretty as we can manage it. Okay, 19, which is 9x minus 18. And that's 81. I think I see a 3 there also. Well, Maybe one more step. Okay, so we're going to take 9 out. So e to the x, x minus 2, well, it's simpler, 9 over x cubed. All right, it's probably as far as we can go with this one. So derivative is equal to e to the x times x minus 2, 9x cubed. Like I said, remember walking in the rain when you use the quotient rule. Well, that's how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube for this video and let me know if you liked it or if it helped you. Till next time, have a confident day.